two years ago, I created a video about a project where second grade students took on the role of IDEO toy lab inventors to design and build a toy for their kindergarten schoolmates. They were given the following driving question. How will you as toy lab inventors design a toy for kindergarten students? IDEO Toy Lab is a division of IDEO that designs toys and mobile apps inspired by kids' curiosity, imagination, and desire to play and learn. You can find the link to the video in the description below. In this video, I want to show you an awesome observational and feedback tool from the D-School that our second grade students use during the testing phase. It is called the Feedback Capture Grid. And it allows students to capture their observational findings and user feedback during their testing session. After creating their first toy prototypes, the second graders visited the kindergarten class during their free choice period, a time when the kindergartners get to choose different stations that contain activities related to the content they are learning in class. The kinders got to play with the toys while the toy inventors got to see if whether or not their toys were enjoyable and easy to play with, and also find insights that could help them improve their toys. The second graders used their feedback capture grid to document their new learnings and feedback during the testing session. The feedback capture grid contains four quadrants. In the first quadrant, the second graders wrote down their users' feedback on what they liked about their toy prototype. The second quadrant contained the users' constructive feedback, while the third quadrant contained the questions that arose during the testing. The fourth quadrant contained new ideas or improvements that emerged from the tests and the information they were looking to record. Using what they compiled in their feedback capture grid, they proceeded back to the prototype phase to refine and improve their toy prototypes. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how I use design thinking with my students, please check out my book, Design Thinking in the Classroom. The link to the book is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more education videos like this. I would like to also give a special thanks to the following people for making this project possible.